Hi guys, it's Tara with Gaia Tarot 13 and this is your monthly, this is the first one, this is your monthly angel card forecast for February 2017. As always with the monthlies, I'm going to pull four cards for the first, one for the first uh, four weeks. And then the fifth card is an overview. This month I am using the Healing with the Angel Oracle card deck. That one just fell, but I know it wants to be up here, so I'm going to go out of screen. Okay, sometimes when they fall, they don't want to be up here, but that one was like trying to jump out. I just didn't catch it. Okay, using the Healing with the Angel Oracle card deck. Trying to get it in the light. I got a weird lighting thing going on. Okay, I'm just waiting for the overview for the month. That one. The, uh... Tarot card reading wasn't that great. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't that great. <laughs> so hopefully uh, this will be a little more optimistic. Okay, so for the first week of the month, this is the one I know what it is. The other one's kind of for face down, but this one flopped face up. First week of February, we've got blessings. And this is supposed to remind you to notice all of the good things in your life. Um, Sometimes we focus so much on lack, on what we don't have or what we wish we had or, um, you know, what we're lacking or what we want to have that we don't see all of the amazing things that we do have, um, like love, you know, friends, family, support, all the love that's in our life. So this is to focus on the blessings the first week and try not to take them for granted. Second week, we have intention. And this one is really, I mean, yes, intention. What are your intentions? But more to like have clarity on it. You might not know what you want, and that might be causing some um, internal turmoil. Um, try to meditate. Try to med meditate and figure out what it is that you want because we can find that if we don't know what we want we're just lashing out at other people um, and even like those who are trying to help us that's what I'm like hearing like you're lashing out at people that are trying to help you and it's because they can't help you because you don't you don't know what you want you know they don't know how to help you because you don't know how to help you so figure out what it is you want or need and then be very clear about that and then allow those people who want to help you to help you. Third week, we have abundance. So, sorry. So, this ties right back in to me with the blessings card. I mean, you have everything that you need already. Like there's no there's no lack. You need to just, I mean, just see what's, see what's in front of you. See what you have. Notice everything it is because, and as I said, these two are just going hand in hand for me. There's so much that you already have that you're just not seeing. Um, so try to notice all, all of your abundance. Again, the, the love that you have, the support that you have, you know, like, you have a roof over your head, you have a job, you know, those types of things that, you know, other people aren't necessarily so fortunate to have. So just be thankful for all of the abundance that you already have instead of focusing on the lack in your life. Fourth week, we have playfulness. And this is telling me... Um, and kind of get in touch with that inner child, but watch in the way in which you do it. You know, like, when you are being playful, you're supposed to be doing so with a sense of innocence. And playfulness, don't try to disguise passive-aggressive behavior under the guise of playfulness. Um, you know, when you, make, when you make kind of comments and you just you take little jabs at people, or not you necessarily, but you know, when those things happen and you're taking little jabs at people and it's like, oh, well, I was just kidding, right? Like we've already, we've all had someone 
either do that to us or have maybe done that to another person. And you're doing it like under the guise of being playful, like, oh, I was just joking. But that's not what it is. That's kind of like a malicious intent. That is not playful. <laughs> there is an air of truth under that and you're trying to make that jab and you're trying to be mean and you're trying to be negative and kind of hurt other people, but you're doing it under this like, oh, I'm just kidding. And these are children in here. These are babies and they don't do that. Babies aren't passive aggressive. <laughs> they're very blunt. If they need something, they'll let you know that they need something. You know, there's that whole like, you, I'm sure you've heard like out of the mouths of babes, right? Because they're so just genuine. So when you're trying to um, be playful, make sure that it's not in that aggressive manner. Make sure that it comes from that place of innocence and authenticity. Overview for the month. We have retreat. Okay. In rectifying it with these cards and also knowing that the tarot card overview for the month was telling us kind of like not to retreat. <laughs> and I know like that shouldn't affect this reading, but really, I mean, the energy is still here and that's what that is. The overview for the month is to go inside yourself and to look at what your intentions are, see everything around you. It's kind of like not retreat in so far as, I don't know if I showed it, it's not retreat in so far as shut yourself off from everyone, but it's a retreat to get back to who you are. What are your intentions? Notice what you have. And it's like these two are going together with the abundance and the blessings and these two, the intentions and the playfulness. Because as I said, with the playfulness, it's like, where are you coming from? You know? Um, and that goes right back to your intentions. So it's more like saying, retreat within yourself. Like notice what you have in your world. Notice the abundance and the blessings and all the good things that you have in your world. But then look within and try to figure out exactly what you want and what you need and how that's affecting your outer world. So that's what I'm getting from this retreat card. So that's what we have for this month. Um, it seems like it's going to be kind of an intense month on both the tarot and the angel card side. It's going to be kind of a month of learning. I'm going to put it that way, a month of learning. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube page. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I pull an angel card every day, reading the energy of that specific day. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.